All right, so I just opened up the Vox AC4 TV. Um, it's an all tube amp. It's got a 10 inch speaker. It's got a attenuator on it. You can switch between a quarter watt, one watt, and four watts. So right now I'm just gonna test out a couple different guitars. I have a Telecaster Custom you know, with a single coil pickup in the bridge. And then I also have a, an Epiphone Joe Bond and Monster Flying V with the two pro buckers in it. So you can just kind of hear the difference it makes with the different uh, pickups through the amp. So right now we are on a quarter watt tone is at 12 o'clock. The volume is at 12 o'clock. Uh, I'll go ahead and go max volume first. This is in the bridge position. just like we did last time. Get those tubes kick back on. The hardest part about playing a flying, flying V sitting down is just holding it. Yeah, 
guys, so I forgot to mention, everything is maxed out on the guitar as well. So let's go ahead and check out one watt. Volume's at about three quarters. Tone is at 12 o'clock. Still has that same sound. And the nice thing is, you know, you can put all your pedals on it. It's not like a, a an amp, you know, the modeling amps where you put a pedal on it and it can sound pretty bad. So I'm really happy with this. Uh, look forward to using it more. I just wanted to do a quick recap on the Fox AC4 TV. So I just listened back to the video of me playing it and all the volume settings I changed and moved around kind of sounds the same to the microphone on the camera but in real life sitting here it is so different and so loud and has such a great tone at 4 watts um, I really love this amp so far uh, I, I really can't compare it to the monoprice one the stage right model because I've never had one ever played one and it's really hard I think to watch a video and get the true sound of it but this, gets, this, this amp is awesome. I'm not really sure why they stopped making them. Maybe there wasn't a big enough market to spend, you know, that much money just for a practice amp. But like I said, I think you could play it out with a drummer. You know, if you were just at a jam session or maybe a small venue, I think it would sound fine. You could even probably put it through the PA if you wanted to. But it sounds great. And if you ever see one, I would try it out.